Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of usedvehiclesales.com.au. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2005 model 4x4 petrol manual Holden Rodeo Ute twin cab that I've got for sale right here on my yard. Now, first thing I want to tell you when I purchase the cars, I like to do this get down here and look along the sides there, right? You can see how there's no dents. Then you look across the bonnet, there's no stone chips. And then you look down here and there's no dents. First thing that tells me for standing back from miles away that this car has been cared for by its previous owner. So, so far I'm interested. Let's keep walking around, I'll show you what comes with it. It's got the alloy wheels and the uh, chrome mirrors so you can video, your bomb, video bomb yourself. It comes with a security department keeping a very close eye on things. We've got the tinted windows and it's the 3.5 V6 four wheel drive. Now, a very important thing I want to tell you about this one. It is the non alloy tech. The alloy tech ones often have issues with their timing chains. This is the one before that doesn't have those same issues. So let's go for a walk through here and I'll show you what's doing. We've got the uh, electric windows and the central locking and all that, the power mirrors all working just there. Got the cruise control happening there, the remote central locking and all that good stuff. You can see on there, it's got the 176 Ks on the clock there. And uh, you can see that there's there a little bit knocked about those things, but it still blows air just nicely. Got the radio, we need to put the radio code in it because we had a flat battery. Um, but that'll be radio will be working just fine. The um, the aircon is working nice and strong. It is the five speed manual. It does have the cruise control and all that sort of stuff happening on there. And there's a very ugly guy in the mirror. <laughs> that would be me. So if you have a look in here, there's log books and there's the audio security code there. You just bang that number into it and away she goes. So oh, I just want to show you around the air condition of these seats. This car has not been used as someone's work truck. It's been used as their family car. I can tell by the condition of it, it is in good shape. So um, let's go for a walk through and we'll have a look in the back here what's doing. So we'll come back into this part, you'll see the condition of those back seats. And if you lift this and pull them back, you see you've got the child restraint thingies in there. All good, so you can put the um, put the booster seats or the baby seats in there if you want. Got the power windows in the back because this is the LT model with all the extras. Oh, I didn't show you how to control the four wheel drive. You do it from right there, which means if you want to go bush bashing, there's no getting out and getting muddy feet and all that sort of thing. You just change the, uh, change into two and four wheel drive right there on those buttons. We got these ladder racky thingies up on top there and you can see there, you can carry your ladder or whatever else you want to put in there. It is the LT model. Don't know what it stands for, but there's an LT, an LX, and a, I think it's the top of the range one. The DX is the poverty pack. This one's the top of the range one with the alloy wheels and this bar thing on the back and those chrome mirror things and the electric windows and the cruise control and all that fancy gear. So there's the racks there. So if you do need to carry some gear on it, well, hey, you can do that. This will drop down just fine like that. And if you have a look in here, even though there's a little bit of paint taken off it, see how the, the tray is not really dented up? That's a pretty good indicator to me that she's not been a heavy duty worker's truck. She's just been someone's family car. But they might have used it to carry things or he had a job where he wasn't smashing it about. It's got the tow bar thing on the back there. And again, down this side, you can see the general condition. Looks like there's been a thing there. It looks like we've touched that up. Yeah, we probably did. <laughs> and so, how did he miss that one? I'm fucking fine, eh? But anyway, that's what happened. So, have a look in there, and then have a look in this side here, in the passenger side at the front. You can see all the condition of all that. Just a nice car all round. All good, mechanically perfect. Kilometres are really low, and... Um, and let me tell you what happens to the cars when they come into our yard. So the kilometres are low. I've got one up the back there, a black one up there somewhere. Uh, same car, everything, 250,000 k's on it. Still going strong, or maybe it's 240. You know, but they go, these cars will go well into the 350s, uh, uh, way beyond if you keep your services up on them. So when the cars come into the yard, we do three levels of inspection, a yard test, a road test, and a mechanical inspection. 
Um, and when we do all those things, like we've got the workshop there, then we can bring the cars up to a very specific level before they leave here. I do this for your safety and reliability. And so what you can do is go and have a look at my Facebook page and go and have a look at the reviews and see what the crowd is saying about buying cars from me. I have people come from Cairns, from way yonder, and they come down, catch the train to here, jump in their car and off they go. If they break down on the way home, they don't write good reviews, I can tell you. So have a look at the reviews and let them tell you we go far, far and above and beyond to prepare the cars for your safety and reliability. Now look at this. See right, we are on dirt. That is the security department. The front gates are normally locked, except my little boy's out there riding his motorbike around somewhere. And uh, that's just how things work here. I don't have concrete. I don't have flags. I don't have salesmen. I don't have any of that expensive shit that frankly means nothing to you. And so what it does, it allows me to put the money back into the cars instead of skimping and scraping on them just so that it looks pretty when you're here. We're not equipped for walk-in traffic. You need to make an appointment to come out because that gate is normally closed. So uh, give us a call if you want to come out and we'd be happy to see you. All the prices are fixed. I can't take out what we put into the cars. Therefore, all the prices are fixed. If you ask, am I negotiable? I'll be like, yeah, but do you really want to pay more? <laughs> so but I'm joking about it, but in seriousness, the prices are fixed because I prepare them all properly. So uh, what else can I tell you? What do you get for the car for the price you see it advertised for? It's a good question and I'm glad you asked. Firstly, it'll come with six months Queensland Rego. It'll come with all your stamp duties, transfer fees, all the government rip you off fees, all that stuff's all included. When we go through the cars and prepare them, we do a service as well. So the vehicle's been freshly serviced, so you won't have any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed not written off, guaranteed not stolen. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down. It's got a current roadworthy certificate and whew, all that for the price you see it advertised for. Uh, you go and look around, you'll find others on there that don't have anywhere near that amount of stuff on them at the same price and more. It's a straight ute, it's in good shape, kilometres are good, well looked after, all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you need help with your finance, there is a link up the top of the page that says no deposit finance. You can put your details in there and our finance guy will come back and give you a quote on exactly how much it costs you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. If you want to come and pay cash, well you can, I'd rather an internet transfer uh, or a bank check or pay with FPOS card, that's cool. Then I don't have to count it and take it to the bank and stuff it up and then the wife growls at me for counting it wrong. You know how it goes. <laughs> so so it's, the price isn't any cheaper if you pay cash. So just letting you know that that's the preferred payment methods. But however you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. 2005 4x4 manual. LT, top of the range, Holden Rodeo 4x4, with extra added awesomeness. <laughs> I'm Dean, thanks for watching this video, and I might muck around in my videos, but I'm telling you, I prepare the cars up to a very specific standard, and I don't compromise on that. Thanks for watching my video. If you want it, come and get it. They don't last long at this price, and uh, otherwise, thanks for watching this video. Look forward to meeting you soon. Bye now.